Okay, thank you to um, the next viewer, uh, Safi, for asking this question, question 2, A1, 2, and 3. Um, and so I'll do that, and I'll, uh, if I don't get any more questions, I'll work my way through uh, the specimen papers. As that's what most people are asking for. So moving on to here. So the first one is um, how to work out the temperature change. Uh, impurities cause phosphine to ignite spontaneously. Uh, forming a phosphide of, ox, uh, of phosphorus. Uh, so we've got 200 grams of air is heated uh, with one mole of phosphine. Uh, calculate temperature rise using your, da your data booklet uh, and you're given the delta H and you're given the C. So if you go to your data booklet it's Q equals MC delta T when we're after the delta T the mass here is 200 grams now the C here is is here uh, I'm just going to use the first one here uh, so that's the grams uh, so I'll leave it in grams but then I'll have to convert uh, the joules to make sure they're the same and so if I put that into the equation I've got minus 750 uh, kilojoules per mole uh, I haven't converted that yet I'll have to do that uh, we've got 200 grams, um, we've got one, um, and we've got our temperature change. So our temperature change is going to be uh, this, 750,000, because I'm converting that to joules, uh, and that's divided by 200. Uh, so just check all your units are the same, uh, and if you halve that, um, that'll give you uh, 3,750 plug that into a calculator or if you can do that one in your head don't do it in your head all right do it in the calculator um, to check that that's right yeah that's right 3750 Kelvin uh, 